And we're back. I wanted to show you the seven violets that I sprayed earlier. And I also wanted to mention a couple of real important points that I, I completely just forgot. You'll have to, you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I know all this stuff, but it's just been so long since I've spoke about it. It's all coming back, but um, I don't know. My mind just kind of wanders a little bit while I'm talking about it. Um, the two big things I wanted to mention, and I'm going to show you right here. Um, <clears throat> the pollen sacs. If you have a thrip infestation, the thrips are gonna they're gonna go after the pollen. Thrips have to have protein. They like protein. They have to have it. So they're gonna go after the pollen sacs because pollen sacs are protein almost almost hundred percent. So they're gonna go chew on the yellow pollen sacs. One of the biggest signs, the number one sign of an, of a thrip infestation is yellow pollen on your petals. If you're looking at your violets and you have pollen on your petals down here underneath your pollen sacs. Now an older petal will drop pollen, um, release the pollen. A mature, mature flower will, I mean not a petal, a mature flower will release pollen. The older it gets as it starts to fade, it'll dump pollen. That's not the same thing. If you're watching your violets and you know that, oh, these are just starting to bloom and you're starting to notice a lot of pollen and stuff, and other issues, that's one of the number one signs. It's it's not uncommon to see a video of somebody showing their flowers and their all their flowers have pollen all over them, and you know those things are crawling with thrips. All right, and they just don't know it. They just don't realize it. They could make that plant do so much better, and that's probably the best it's ever going to. From that point on, it's it's not going to be blooming that good. One of the other signs is the the yellow pollen sacs. You'll see brown on them. Because as they get chewed on and chewed on, it's it's like somebody taking a bite out of an apple. Once it gets a couple of bites out of it, those they turn brown. The spots turn brown. So it's those little pollen sacs are like apples, and as a as the thrips chew on them, it'll slowly turn brown. It's like peeling off an apple. It'll turn brown within a little while. So if you've got brown dots on your on your pollen sacs, and you've got spilled pollen on your petals, you've got a thrip infestation. Very few other things will do all that, do those same things. You're also going to notice spots on your petals or deformed petals or petals that don't open all the way, flowers that don't open all the way. Um, this one's just starting to open. That's why it looks like that. Um, might be um, a little bit of rot around the edges of the flower petals even. Um, they might droop. Um, they, they're going to be smaller than normal or very few flowers or they don't even open properly. The buds die before they even get open. Those are all signs of thrip infestation. They're signs of other things can cause that, but thrips are so common. If you've got 10 violets in a room, there's thrip in a, there's a thrip in there, trust me. Unless they've all just been recently been treated. So I wanted to show you these violets. No ill effects. Everybody looks good. What well, damage on the leaves is what was there when we got the plants. That'll be trimmed off later on as they keep growing. Um, everybody's nice and flat, good looking rosettes. We might lose a flower or two and that's a small price to pay for um, keeping everybody healthy and infested free for a good while. So um, again, I hope this information helps somebody. Um, I appreciate everybody's comments and thanks for watching. Have a great evening.